Okay. Uh, I just realized, did I remember... <clears throat> did I remember to add tags? Yes, I did. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so, you know, we got a little bit... We got a lot going on. All right, so... Uh, I don't know, I'm just trying to try and organize my thoughts here a little bit. Okay, so in the last video, and I was, I was writing the YouTube description for the AVAX Lucky Cat, I actually completely forgot to mention that there's another uh, method of legally not having to report your taxes or report very little. All right, it's actually at least here in America. I think in I think in uh, I think in Europe they might have the same thing. I mean, the West is the same shit anyway. It's it's Satan compatible, right? Just like in the last video, I talked about Ethereum and EVM compatible networks. Well, we got the same thing here too in real life. It's called Satan Western compatibility. That's why everything's just going G word and mass pedo bear and you know all this degenerate evil stuff going on. It's not just in America. It's like we're actually trying to ex well, not we, but the American government's trying to export that the CIA specifically. But you know whatever. So, uh, so in America, we have something called a, a SPAC or a super PAC, right? Or a super political action committee. So basically you don't have to actually, you don't actually report anything to the IRS. Uh, instead, either once a month or every three months, you report to the FEC, which in America is the federal election committee. And all you have to do is just report anything. You don't pay any taxes. So what happens is your super political action committee is the one that owns, you know, all, all of the stuff. So you're thinking, well, oh, that sounds great. Why not just do that, right? If you don't mind do, doing the reporting requirements. Well, the problem with, the, with that is if someone takes control of the super PAC somehow, right? Like they basically kick you off or, or assassinate you specifically. Uh, then they control the super PAC somehow and then they steal all your stuff and there's nothing that can be done. So it's actually kind of dangerous, right? So the only reason why you want a super PAC is to basically legally bribe our politicians in America, right? By donating all this shit. That's just how the stupid game is played. So, uh, so yeah. So I'm thinking I'm going to probably do the same thing because it doesn't actually cost much money to bribe a politician, right? You know, like, uh, I forgot the name of the guy because the Daily Wire mentioned it, but... For like thirty, forty thousand dollars, you can get some idiot, uh, shitty Republican senator to go on Tucker Carlson and bitch and complain about the Ukraine Russia stuff, and then say we need to, you know, send more weapons to Ukraine. All right? That's why you know defense industry contractors, this, their stocks are going up like crazy. So, for example, Lockheed Martin stock. All right, this is one of their uh, stocks. Greg Manorino said that this has made a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, look at this shit. December it was at three hundred twenty eight dollars and look at this right a one and look February twenty fourth Russia Ukraine right boom you know boom right this is what this is what bribing a politician gets you it's a very corrupt and evil fucking system and I hate it so you know I and I don't understand why crypto I think I don't know if cryptocurrency companies are doing the same thing because so far I haven't fucking seen their them showing up on open secrets or let's. Can I search specifically by, let's say Coinbase? They got money. Coinbase profile. Are, are you are you donating fucking anything? Yeah. See, this is why cryptocurrency is not doing as well as it. Uh, uh, uh. Look at this shit. Well, okay. Are you donating anything to fucking Republicans? This is fucking... God, I'm actually getting kind of... I shouldn't get angry, but I'm actually kind of fucking pissed. All right? Coinbase is not doing what they should be fucking doing. Especially with their kind of money and influence. Not only are they only donating to left-wing people, they completely... Fuck. See, this is... Okay, view all participants. Okay. Congressional candidates. Well, I mean, that makes sense because it's just candidates. So I, you need to bribe the people already in office. House recipients, of course. Senate recipients. Yeah, I mean, just just look at these numbers overall. Coinbase literally ha is worth, like, what, hundreds of billions of dollars of the fucking B. Why the fuck is this number so low? All right? You want to know why cryptocurrency is getting raped up the ass? It's because these fucking cryptocurrency companies aren't doing shit. All right? I'm hoping Kraken 
Let's see. I don't know. Crack. What are we? I know we. Shit. It's only hit. I fucking hate this thing where, like, it opens a completely new window and it fucks up my pro. Hold on. Well, it also. Like, can you see this? Yeah, and it fucks up my brave, too, because they have the same thing. So, cracking's not. Probably go by a different name. What's another cryptocurrency company? Not Robinhood. <sighs> Fuck. I'm drawing a blank here. I'm just drawing a, ban a, a blank. And this is for 2020. This is just stupid. Alright, this is why this is why God is making me really rich. And a lot of you rich. But specifically me very rich. Alright, so let's see. Uh, this is the Senate. Okay, this is the House. Yeah, I gotta get in here. Has not reported any outside spending in the 2020 election cycle. Yeah, they kind of just threw a little bit of money in there. Really... Now I remember what I want. Okay, let's... Now let me show you a real fucking behemoth. Fucking... We'll, we'll put... Where's Google? Alright, see, this is how you do it, alright? This is Google Inc., alright? And they even go by YouTube LLC. Yeah, I mean, YouTube Mix is actually a really... Uh, generous. And that's the thing too. Like when YouTube first came out, I always just kept hearing like YouTube will lose money, and Google was like stupid for buying it. But I always knew inherently there was just something wrong with that statement. It's like Google is not stupid. You know they make. You know they they're one of the richest and most powerful companies in the world for a reason. All right, you don't get there by being stupid. All right, it just takes time to you know develop your your products. All right, and they sure as hell did a good job of that. See, they rank number nine in lobbying, and this is, see, and this is nothing to Google, sorry? Right? So this is how you effing play the game, all right? Coinbase has just as much money as Google, or at least comparably has enough money, so there should be no reason why that their lobbying efforts is like 50k. It's like, you stu- All right, let's see what Amazon's got. Okay, here, here's Amazon. Look, look, I, I don't even need to say anything. I don't need to see anything more. I'm actually kind of annoyed. The reason why you and I are not enjoying our cryptocurrency games and the fucking asshole central banks and JP Morgans of the world are fucking this up is because coin, because all these fucking rich cryptocurrency companies aren't doing shit. I have way less money and I'll probably wind up... I have way less money and I can eventually, you know, spend, outspend Coinbase. This is just... This is an outrage. This is a fucking outrage. But this is good. This is why we need the truth, because now we can actually see what is wrong, all right? Which is why all of you need to like, subscribe, and spread the channel around, because if we had the same kind of, like, you know, numerical power, it doesn't matter if, you're out, if you live outside the United States or you don't, all right? I don't care about that. I just need you. I just need, I just need bodies there. I need you, all right? I don't even care if you don't have any money. What matters is that you're there, because most people out there are going to look at it and go, Hey, this Johnson Chan guy, he's got like a million people following him. Shit, we should probably listen to him. That's the point, all right? You know, you can't do anything on your own. Neither can I. But if you help me, then I can actually maybe do something, you know? Because, again, it doesn't cost much to... Because basically what I'm really doing is I'm, buy, I'm buying a spot on, say, Idiot Fox News to talk nice things about cryptocurrencies, all right? And that's going to make people buy this shit. All right, like coin, like I know Coinbase is a really good company, but I'm just completely like, I'm in complete shock. All right, just how little they're doing lobbying, and not not surprisingly, cryptocurrencies are getting like their asses kicked. So we're we're, we're gonna do something about that eventually, eventually. So I'll have to figure it out. Plus, I kind of need to get that money back because that's a lot of money in donations. So I don't know. I might be able to convince. Uh, enough politicians to write some like lo legal loopholes in the annual the annual bill thing and then you know it says hey you can get free grant money from the u.s government if you are involved in cryptocurrencies and here are the rules right and of course i design the rules ultimately and then i get the i get my money back and i you know because that's how the game is played right that's how the defense industry and the pharmaceutical companies get all their money they lobby a lot and then convince and then quote unquote convince the government to buy their shitty products and then they make a lot of money and then they throw it back so it's basically like an investment or a business that's exactly what it is but it's corrupt right so oh, my work is never done so anyway 
so the funny thing is, uh, I talked about, about something completely different, but we actually kind of need to do that because, again, you don't want to invest in a vacuum, all right? Because, again, you don't just want to, I don't want to teach you to just make a pile of money because that's actually retarded, all right? You got to look at the bigger picture, all right? Because that's, that's what separates me and hopefully all of you from everyone else, all right? Because at some point, it's like, hey, there's a fire that's coming and there's a volcano erupting. I think, that we, I think we need to actually leave. Right, that's a, that's exactly what this is, <laughs> right? And you just keep staying there, well, then you're gonna get killed by the volcano eruption or the or the wildfire or whatever it is. You know, wildfire was from Game of Thrones, but the same thing. It's very destructive, all right. And then you lose it all. So and you don't want that. So anyway, this is eight percent daily APR. This is a one percent developer fee, and I've actually been watching the Cardano. This thing has actually has been going up. I didn't put any new Cardano. I so now I do compounding in the morning, withdraw profits at night, and this is actually growing. And what's important is it's also on the Milko Mita Cardano blockchain, the new blockchain. So they actually are, are still in very early on a brand new blockchain. Obviously, Cardano is really good. They obviously know what they're doing, right? You know, even despite all the horrible price action in cryptos, you know, Cardano is still number eight in the world. So this is huge, huge, huge. They're, they basically have prime real estate in a brand new, like, these fucking alarms. That was the ambulance. So, so Lucky Cat Cardano has prime real estate in a, in a location on a brand new, like, city or something, or a new, uh, or a new skyscraper. So this is... I mean, I don't know how many of you are familiar with New York City, but like our, we have a prestigious, we have a lot of prestigious land here in New York City, but one is called Fifth Avenue. All right. Donald Trump himself made sure that he was there. You might even have heard of a luxury diamond company, I think they do, called Saks Fifth Avenue. That's how prestigious it is. This is like basically, you know, having a store, like literally a store on Fifth Avenue of New York City. All right. So this is. So this is really, really nice. So, and because I've seen the Cardano in here starting to grow up, that's a very good trend, all right? You know, if I could do it all over again, I actually would not put, you know, whatever I put in the Phantom Lucky Cat, because that's still pretty high risk. I would rather have it in here instead of the same money equivalent, because this is growing, all right? And of course, the number isn't as high, because obviously, Nokometer just came out like, it's, I think it's barely two weeks old now, right? It's like 15 days old. So there's still not a lot of money in here yet, but it's it's pouring in, all right? It's only going to get bigger. So hopefully that means Cardano Lucky Cat will also catch some of that money, all right? So, uh, so yeah. And on top of that, I'm actually constantly doing PvP battles for Milk Sheba, right? Because people keep trying to kick me off. And I'm like, no, go F yourself. Also, this video is processed, so I'll set you to pub uh, public real quick. Oh, uh, let me see. Did anyone kick me off? Uh, okay. Well, I'm satisfied with the results so far. So, anyway. Yeah, I really like it. So, whatever. So, well, so yeah. So, anyway, check out Lucky Cat. Uh, it is on a new blockchain, so just keep that in mind. And, obviously, it's still a very low number overall. Uh, however, I'm not too worried about the growth of this project, so just don't put in too much, right? Especially, like, let's say you had, like, 5,000 Cardano. Do not put 5,000 into this because you're basically, you're basically getting back your own money, right? Because that's how, that's how small this thing is. So, you know, you got to put in a much smaller amount, all right? So it's up to you what you want to do, of course. So, anyway, we've talked a lot about, like, a lot of very interesting things not related particularly to this project, but it's actually worth thinking about because, and then researching it for yourself, because, man, I'm still blown away. I'm still blown away. Coin, it's like, I don't oh, God, what's the point of getting effing rich if you're not going to do anything to help people? It's like, I'm, I'm actually kind of frustrated by that. I'm kind of frustrated by that. <sighs> well, well, that's just how it goes, right? That's just how it goes. So anyway, so I have to think. If I set up an offshore company, I then, well, then I'll probably also set up a super pack as well. But it's not going to own anything. It's just going to be there to get money from the offshore company, which and then the then the super pack will then donate 
money to politicians who will be pro cryptocurrency. I already know. I already know a few. I mean, I have political contacts, like I've been telling you. So, I'll donate to Paul Gosar. He's a Republican congressman, so he's in the House. I would donate some money to Wendy Rogers. She's a state senator in Arizona. So she gets like some money. Uh, and then there's Thomas Massey. He's a congressman from Kentucky, I believe. So he'll get some of my money. Uh, so these are all Republicans. I do need to find a Democrat that I might like. So the one person I'm thinking of might be... I can't. I think his name is Joe Manchin. He's a Democrat from West Virginia. But... He's actually in a very right-wing district, so he's kind of forced not to go. And he also actually has been resisting heavily the Democrats, so because he because he actually is trying to do the right thing instead of doing what the party is telling him. So you know he can probably get some of my money. Um, I might believe it or not, put in like five hundred bucks or whatever to AOC, all right? Because let me see, uh, open. OpenSecrets.org. Let's go back here. Uh, oh, great. Can you... Nice. Thanks. Thanks for uh, not, not providing this, because this is all I care about. Okay. Uh, what do I type in here, though? AOC. All right. Yeah, this is going to be... Yeah, see, she's also on the Financial Services Committee. That makes it even... Retired. So here's Google. 25 grand. She's raised a shit ton of money. Even the city of New York is donating to her. So here's Amazon. Yeah, see, uh, uh, AOC was very harsh against a against Amazon, and then Amazon basically threatened her illegally by like spilling all her uh, spilling all her, her dirty secrets, and then she backed off. And then Amazon decided to give her some money, and then now she now now she's a good now she's a good little pet, right? Meanwhile, but remember, AOC is the left wing version of the right wing people that I don't like to. Because her, her job is to distract left-wing and liberal people. So many of you are probably left-wing in some form. Fine. Well, it's really not fine, but there's nothing I'm going to do about it. Right? So she distracts you with her good looks and, you know, oh, you know, I'll fight the corporations. No, she's not. She's taking money. Look, this is how she sustains herself through all these fucking corporations. All right? They just call themselves governments or colleges. It's all the same scam. All right? It's all the same scam. So now I just have to, you know, work this a little bit. Let's see. Oh, God. I don't feel like digging into this because there are obviously, you know, there's a lot more to it, but whatever. Anyway, check out Cardano, Lucky Cat. I'm in, in, I'm in this a little bit because, again, there's not, I mean, this thing is still pretty new. Not a whole lot of money, but, you know, I mean, a lot of things I'm going to have to look into. Because, again, remember, I'm a big picture guy, as you can tell. There's a reason why I'm looking up offshore companies. I'm looking up open secrets. I'm looking up politicians, okay? Because this is how the game is played, all right? I don't just teach you how to make a little F load of money, right? Which is very nice, and it's actually the most basic important skill that we have. But it's also equally important to develop other skills beyond just making a lot of money, right? Because... You know, like, remember, like, Pol Pot and Cambodia genocide and all that stuff? There were a lot of rich people, and even in World War II, there were lots of rich people. They all got killed anyway. Or even the the Russian Revolution, after Lenin initiated his revolution, and then he got screwed over by Joseph Stalin, right? They, they, they slaughtered a lot of people, too, and Lenin was probably assassinated because he's like, hey, Stalin, can you stop killing all these innocent people? And it's like, hey, we won. It's like, Stalin's like, no. And then I think Lenin died from po accidental, quote unquote, accidental food poisoning. It was an accidental. They assassinated him. Well, specifically Joseph Stalin probably had him assassinated when his usefulness was uh, over and he was starting to ask questions he was not supposed to be asking. So that's the kind of that's what happens, right? That's what happens. So because remember. God will always be here, but so will Satan. So if you're not actively helping God in some form, Satan will be the one that manages everything. You can't let that happen, right? So, yeah, it's about self-preservation at the least if you don't care about anyone else. Which you really should, but, you know, 
care about others. But let's say you don't. Well, then, you know, you want to survive too, right? So, you know, you're going to have to help us out. You know, help us out. All right. This, uh, this actually turned out to be a very interesting video. Much longer than it should have been, so... Anyway, uh, I'll see you in the next video. It should be, uh, it should definitely be shorter, because I'm, I'm covering a Titano fork today, right? Yeah, it's called Hybrid Finance. Yeah, I'm not going to do much with that either, so. All right, so we're going to do Polygon. Uh, we'll make that a quick video, and then I actually want to make Hybrid Finance, which is the Titano fork, a uh, quick video as well. And, I don't know, I'll save the Tomb fork for, like, tomorrow. Right now, everything is just shit in crypto right because again oh good it's actually going up a little bit because the bot yeah i said i saw the bond yield drop out dramatically because someone's buying up these bonds so th this shit should be going up so whatever but bitcoin should at least be a hundred thousand to a hundred and twenty thousand and now i know actually now i actually know why the technical mechanics behind why that is <sighs> We gotta replace all these idiots, man. Well, we gotta replace it. Good Coinbase is a good company. It's just like, what the hell, man? Like they're constantly threatening you. The government's constantly threatening you, and you only put in fifty-eight grand in the fucking lobbying efforts to make it matter, matters worse. You fucking donate to all these shitty Democrats that have been talking shit about cryptocurrencies. Like this doesn't make any sense. <sighs> fucking joke. You know, the, the, my government, America, and really the West, we're, we're, we're just a joke. I'm so glad that we're losing power because we deserve to lose the power. I want them to lose power so that good people like you and me can actually maybe do something right for a change. Ah, yeah. So mauled, so bald, right? Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.